fact is that there are all sorts of avenues to knowledge and there are different kinds of truth than scientific truth. For example, mathematical and logical truths, which are assumed by, not proved by, science. Metaphysical truths about the nature of reality, like the reality of the external world or the reality of the past. Ethical and aesthetic truths about the good and the beautiful. And even scientific truths themselves. The fact is that modern science is permeated by assumptions which cannot themselves be scientifically proven. Now, one area of knowledge, in addition to the physical sciences, would be history. And the fact is that history is really on exactly the same level as the natural sciences in terms of its objectivity and its dependence upon empirical data. And therefore, to shun history or historiography as not a source of knowledge is extremely naive. In fact, when you think about it, there are historical sciences like geology and paleontology and cosmology that are precisely uh, dependent upon historical data for their conclusions. So in those sorts of sciences, you have a, a merger of the historical method and the uh, scientific method to produce acceptable conclusions. If you're going to exclude historical knowledge, then you've got to throw out geology and paleontology and cosmology because those are historical sciences. And yet nobody would do that.